comment also. Comment? Yeah, yeah. Sweet, nice to see. And you like the cardamom chai also? I think I need some sugar in it. Right, right. Yeah, they actually give it separately. I think in Dubai they have lots of sugar in it automatically. Actually, actually, Pakistani chai is full of sugar. Uh huh. But in these modern restaurants, they give it separately. So you like the room? Very nice. You like the hotel already? I can see that. Yes, yes. Flowers downstairs. My. Yeah, exactly. Everything is here. Hello, people. Uh, another good morning from Lahore. And I am standing inside uh, Jahangir's tomb right now. And I am accompanied by Bilal, uh, who is often on the trips with me. And also, I have my guest from Sweden, Mr. Bjorn. Hi, uh. Hi, Bjorn. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Absolutely great. Thank you. Enjoying in Lahore's heat? Oh, very much. This is an amazing <laughs> sight. Not we to will, be missed. We will talk in detail later. Okay. done with the Asif Khan's tomb and also we witnessed some of the renovation work that's going on here under the supervision of archaeological department uh, and this guy here who was working on some uh, shapes on the tiles uh, he was cutting those tiles into the designated shapes uh, he was nice enough to uh, guide us through the whole process how it's all done and uh, uh, they are right now they are working on the back side of the mosque that's inside this uh, uh, big Jahangir storm area and after this they are hoping that uh, they will be provided with the marbles and the stones and obviously uh, a lot of money and they can work on Asif Khan's tomb also uh, that's in a very bad shape for now uh, so I mean uh, if these places are uh, properly renovated and uh, they are back to their original colors they can definitely attract many more tourists uh, both local and foreign tourists and they can definitely help generate a lot of revenue for this tourism department here we are in the Badshahi mosque uh, in in the greater Iqbal park of course and uh, we just uh, visited the uh, the small uh, indoor area on the back side which has all the holy relics uh, some uh, things uh, which were used by Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, his family members Hazrat Ali, Hazrat Imam Hussain uh, some dresses of uh, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani uh, uh, the uh, Kiswa the Vilafe uh, Kaaba as you call it uh, and a lot of uh, other amazing things uh, are put inside. It's a must, must visit place. Uh, it's free entry, and uh, on the exit they have this uh, donation box. You can put in like 10 rupees, 100 rupees, whatever you want. Uh, and if you don't want, that you can definitely come out without paying anything. And I would definitely recommend this place very highly, uh, especially for Muslims. Uh, it is an amazing, amazing place. They have some very, very, uh, you know, rare and very, very special things kept inside here. We are inside the Badshai Mosque right now and uh, Bjorn really likes something from the Mughal era here. That all the Mughal kings and the princes, you know, they have written their names on the wall. So they made sure that they are part of this history. And no one can forget their names and no one can forget about uh, uh, whom they love so much. So they have carved all their love stories on these walls.
I am not speaking much today because it was super super hot and humid uh, today so we were all beyond and me myself and Bilal we were all super exhausted super tired uh, but we had a good break we had lunch then we went to the Como Museum of Arts uh, where uh, an exhibition started just today so we found some good artwork there uh, it was not as big as Beyond would be looking to see but uh, at least he got the taste of uh, the sort of art that Pakistani people do here. And now we are in Shalimar Gardens and uh, after that we will be heading back towards the walled city and we will see uh, how much time we have and if we can cover a couple of more places before heading to, to Haveli restaurant for a dinner uh, right after the sunset from top of that restaurant. <laughs> Another good morning from Lahore and I am right outside the Wadir Khan Mosque right now uh, with my guest Bjorn who is uh, originally from Sweden but he's working in Dubai as a teacher, as an English teacher to be precise. Uh, so we had to skip uh, this Shahi Hammam and Wadir Khan Masjid yesterday because, uh, 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 because of lack of time of course, uh, we were very tired. Uh, it was actually uh, because we actually had just one day for sightseeing in Lahore uh, in Beyond's original plan uh, but uh, because of all the uh, traffic around this area and uh, uh, if you have been to Lahore you know that how much we have to walk inside each of the sites like uh, the Jahangir Storm, uh, the Lahore Fort, Bad Shahi Mosque and uh, you know we walked about 15 kilometers yesterday uh, so we had uh, like coffee at about uh, the sunset time yesterday and uh, then uh, we were all exhausted. Uh, Beyond was also tired so we uh, decided just to skip these two points. And today morning he just had to visit Lahore Museum and then we had to head back to the airport uh, for his return flight. But yesterday he had a, 
बैड न्यूज है बट ही माइट बी कॉलिंग इट अ गुड न्यूज नाउ बिकॉज इट फ्लाइट डिलेड बाई थ्री आवर्स सो वी हैड एक्स्ट्रा थ्री आवर्स फॉर साइट सींग टूडे एंड सो वी डिसाइडेड दैट वी हैड स्किप दिस वजीर खान मॉस शाही हमाम इन दिल्ली गेट सो वी डिसाइडेड टू कवर दिस एरिया टूडे एंड वी विल बी हैडिंग बैक टू लाहौर म्यूजियम एंड दैन प्रोबली एन आर्ट गैलरी एंड दैन वी विल बी हैडिंग बैक टू द एयरपोर्ट सो वी आर हेयर टूडे थैंक्स टू एयर ब्लू एंड सो फार ही इज लविंग इट ही लव द शाही हमाम एंड He's Amazing. already loving it. <laughs> It's the number one thing to see, actually. Exactly. After all I've seen, don't miss it. So Bjorn is ready to leave Pakistan. Yes, I am. And I would just like to ask, what was your perception about Pakistan before coming here? Well, it was a bit of a mystery, I think, because there are lots of things I don't know. I have Pakistani colleagues, but that doesn't mean I know a lot about the country. Right. So right. obviously, I learned a lot more about the country than what I knew before. Right. And why did you decide to come to Pakistan? Well, I am a traveler. I have been to 102 countries. Pakistan is number 103. Right, right. So I'm just going to any country where I've not been before. That's right, basically right, the reason. Right. right. Yeah. So always happy to be at the new places. Yes, yes. And coming quickly uh, to how did you find Pakistan? I know it was very small time, just yeah. a weekend, but still we saw a lot of Pakistan's history. We saw Lahore. I managed to see a lot in in two days. Right. I uh, got history, old history, ancient history, or Recent old history. I've got some modern history now from the Army Museum. Uh, I've seen um, beautiful architecture, old ones. I've seen a modern museum, Como right, Museum, right. which was very interesting. I listened to a street musician or a kind of street musician in a house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was very interesting. Uh, I've seen a bit of it inside the church. I've seen some cafes. I've seen a lot of things, but I do recommend a hammam. The Shahi Hammam. The Shahi Hammam. Don't right. miss that. Whatever you do, don't miss that because right, that, right. to me, is one of the top ones. Right. Yeah. And we didn't have a lot of Pakistani food, but we did it's have spicy, some yes. of it. Yeah. Absolutely. So you like the food? I here? like I like the omelets in the morning. The Pakistani omelette, they call it. Omelette, right? Yeah, right. I like that. All right. And, and the, the food and yesterday was very good. And how about the services that you got? Very good. The yes. hotel, the car, the, the hotel guide was, services, and everything. The, the hotel was fantastic. Uh, I had two guys yesterday, right. Bilal and Osman. So I had double input the whole day long, which was great. They're very uh, attentive and they are very helpful, and everything is possible. Very positive. And, it's, it's and any anything you want to advise us, as you are definitely elder than me with much more experience of life and traveling, anything you would like to Not suggest much. us? Not much. I mean. Th- practical things like where's the bathroom? When should you go to the bathroom? Where can you have coffee? When it's hot? Is there an AC cafe nearby? Right, right. For example, the the um, fort is very big. I mean, you need right. to spend a lot of time, but there's no toilet. It's very easily accessible. Right, right. There's no way you can sit and have coffee in coolness. So any that ad- will be good. Right, right. Yeah. And any advice for us as like tour operators who are taking care of the foreign guests? Something you think was missing? No, nothing was missing. I don't think anything was missing. Right, I can't right. think of anything. So you you would rate it a 10 by 10 oh, yeah, experience? Yeah, 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 I would. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. Much. And have a safe flight back home. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you very much.